we're out here in this uh, field where the uh, 18 row 20 inch Calmer cornhead went over the field here a little while ago looking at the residue the uh, uh, stalk stubble that's sticking up as you can see it's about halfway up knee high on me and which is about uh, probably I don't know 10 inches or so and that of course would vary depending on how high you run the head but you can see how we've just demolished the tops of these corn stalks they're just exploded apart like you set a firecracker off in them the residue is primarily on the ground right below the stalk in the stalk row pretty much banded fairly in a in a heavier area about 15 inches wide over the row maybe not even that wide and then here between the row nothing there but just a few leaves and they're of course going to quickly deteriorate a lot of people worry about this residue blowing and so forth that's really not a problem with this particular uh, method of using the BT choppers because this residue, this stalk you've got sticking up acts like a snow fence and so the leaves get caught and they really don't blow off the field. The people that have trouble with uh, leaves and the trash blowing off and filling the ditches is primarily because they've used some of these uh, surface tillage tools that lays everything pretty much flat on the ground or even if you use the lawnmower blade type uh, stalks you know, uh, choppers that are on uh, a lot of the factory heads, they leave a little stubble only two or three inches tall and it's like a little iron rod to run tires on. And it's, it's not tall enough to catch the leaves and hold them on the field and they end up a lot of times blowing off in the ditch if you don't get out there with a disc or something and cover them up. But if you wanna be in a no-till situation, you don't wanna do any tillage, here we have our residues managed so it's gonna stay on the field primarily in the row. If you were a strip tiller and wanted to come back and plant the strips, you've got a pretty bare area then right between. Next spring, you can come back and plant in. It works great for strip tilling. And of course, if you're conventional tillage and you want to run any kind of tillage equipment, you can, you can run anything through this. Uh, a year ago, I planted 120 acres of wheat with a, uh, I think it was an eight inch spaced uh, drill, no-till drill, right in the corn stalks, right the day after the combine left the field. Uh, you know, there's just nothing here that's going to interfere with the uh, tillage tools. Nothing's going to drag up. You can run an anhydrous applicators. About anything you want will go right across the field. But it's a good, true residue management system using that Calmer BT chopper stalk roll.